is uh, the cache, the Empire cache, somewhere. That's the uh, cat fort where we started this whole mess. Things have just spiraled out of control. It started with one little adventure. Before I knew it, I was slaying mages and fighting dragons and... Friends don't let friends adventure. I guess. You recall a strange, nauseating sensation. When your senses return to normal, you realize that you've moved. Oh dear. I think I need to talk to a priest about curing. Where was that empire fortification? Not that one, but the, uh, pretty much the last thing I did before I went down. cave giant was. There's castle ruins. All right. Where the heck was it? Now I'm just confused. I thought it was somewhere on the left. But I didn't get to the spiders until after the round them up. I've never been able to round up the lizards. Or the cows. You guys have to get on the freaking bridge. No, they're... They went off the bridge. It's the spiders. You couldn't go any further west from here. <laughs> Excuse me. Where the heck was that spot? This is too far south. These webs would have stopped me. There's a lot of things chasing me. No.
You know, I, you know, I said I think I know where it is. Clearly, clearly, I'm mistaken. Maybe it was back here. We were already disappointed by that. You can't disappoint me a second time. And that's where the dragon is. I want to say hi. Hi. Pressing to talk to him. And there's nothing in here, of course. I've already poked my nose around. Hmm. I don't know where this last cache is. Forget it. We're going elsewhere. Maybe we should go down to the Tower of Magi and then down to, uh, the Land of, uh, Bugs. Shit rocks and no bugs. I think that's what I'll do. Shouldn't be too hard. Would you stop following me? I hate it when they do that. It just stops you from moving quickly. What have we been doing? We've been wandering around completely uselessly. That's what we've been doing. Gotta go on the outside path. Come on. Pull out the map we found in Lemon Sully's fort and show it to the council. It definitely gets their attention. Lentus reads it carefully and the council talks quietly for several minutes. Pyrog has been slain? Nobody will mourn. Now that we know uh, Block is in his lair, we can plan on getting her out. He has an assistant bring several maps to him. They're ancient. Uh, they, are anci they are ancient, and bits flake off of them the gentlest touch. He pours over them carefully. The lair will be heavily guarded. But look here! Okay, it's a narrow tunnel leading from the water to the back of Pyrog's cave. If you took a boat around the back of Pyrog's cave to the north, you could find this secret passage and enter the fortress from the rear. The passage will be well hidden, and the old lizard's traps may still be there. Still, it seems the easiest way to slip in and get the crystal soul. Take note of this. If someone could be found to rescue Jeknoll, all three look at you, hopefully. The rewards would be great. Thank you. I wonder, do any of you do magic training? You're all super mages, right? Hmm. I 
apparently there's something I need to look at on this island, too. Something I needed to spell barrier for? Why haven't they woken an assistant for you? Yeah. <laughs> Dishonest but kind. Oh, well, I try to be kind. Dishonesty kind of runs along with that. Herb catalog. And you happen to have Borgia toadstools? See the scrolls for a minute. Yes, just as I thought. We do have Borgia toadstools. Not too fresh, but still usable. They're in the northeast storeroom in the back. Small, small beige speckled dried ones. You could use things for making potions. Northeast storeroom. Now, how do I get up there? Is a question for the ages. I think I need to sneak in. I can remember how to, uh, over here. <laughs> Sorry, not trying to bother you. again. Oh, sharply twisted corridor. It's very warm in there. Strong, highly pungent smell you can't identify. I'm sure there's nothing terrible waiting for me. So when a huge demon appears, mist rising from its red leathery skin. It bolts for the exit, but a wall slides shut behind you, locking you both in. Furious, it attacks! Okay. Ta-da! Someone has hurled a crystal box into the corner. The blow was not hard enough to shatter it, but enough to cover it with a lacework of cracks. Turning it over, you see that it has a ring inside. Gift that a gift that displeased someone, perhaps? Take it. Suresh so got a ring, and it identified it. Fletcher's ring. Eh, I can see that. Wait, I was looking in the northwest. Derp. 
Don't say nothing. I know it's already too late, but don't say nothing. There they are. And I'll take that, 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 and that. And... Try to get it open. Contains dozens of small vials, jars, each containing a different reagent. You, you, you uh, search through the containers until you find one marked Borgia mushrooms. Take it! Ta-da! A shaper, huh? It's a vanity woman sitting cross-legged in her bed, staring deeply into a large glowing green crystal. Things are unusually warm around her. Hi! Motes of light uh, float from her into the crystal. Other smaller motes float back. She ignores you. Uh, speak as her, but note her furious concentration and stop. Interrupting magical rituals is dangerous business. She's concentrating very angrily. Is that all I needed to do down here? No, I still need to go to the uh, pyramid, but uh, I don't think I'm ready yet. I've barely gained any skill at all in that regard since my last attempt. And that took like an hour. I need a boatload of <laughs> energy potions before I try that again. Just came for the mushroom, guys. Sorry. Now we need to get to Patrick's Tower. Also, we need to investigate around the castle because apparently there's something locked up under Patrick's Tower that we could, uh... use. Or so we were told by Patrick's wife. Oh, Patrick, why do you have to live so freaking far away? I also need to get in there. Oh, pff, just sail right into it. There's something else over there. Pitiful forms block your progress down the passage. They were humanoids once, but something drained their life energy, leaving them undead and dangerous. They don't attack you, but they make it clear they don't want you to go west. Ooh, that's a lot of specters. Why do you get to go first? Why? 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 Oh, it's a distraction. <laughs> 